look too happy right now. Happy holidays, everyone! It is finally December. How has your year gone? My year has not been too bad. It felt like the last half of this year went by so quick, but we are now in December. And not just that, it's been one year since I started uploading on my channel. Woo! I can't believe this. I also can't believe I didn't notice until now, or else I probably would have planned something a little better, but that's okay. But I can't believe it's been one year, one year of so many projects that I've done and many many more to come. But enough about my channel, which you should subscribe to, by the way. Shh. For today's project and for the last project of the year, I will be making Martha May Houvier. What a mouthful. I'm going to be making her coat that she wears at the beginning of the movie of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. My, I've never seen so many beautiful Christmas lights, Betty Lou. I'm sure everyone has watched it. Her fashion in the movie was revolutionary. She has so many looks in that movie that are just... Let's talk about patterns and fabric. For the pattern, I will be using McCall's M6800. Here you go. I've used this before, so I know it fits well. I made a princess coat a while back, but I was new to sewing. So I put like three layers. So the coat is really thick and I can't move my arms and I can barely pull the coat closed. I was new to sewing, but I really wanted a princess coat. Anyways, for the outer fabric, I will be using some stretch velvet that I found. It's a very pretty red, yeah, <laughs> why did I just question that? It's red. I have never sewn velvet before, so we'll see how that goes. I want to know if it's as challenging as other people say it is. So I'm ready for that. By the way, I'm doing like three new things for this project. I'm sewing velvet, never done that. I'm going to be sewing fur, never done that. And if I get my way, I'm going to be making boot covers for my boots because hers are red. So <laughs> we'll see. So let's get started on the last project of the year. Woo! Is it too on the nose? that I wore my Grinch sweatshirt. <laughs> I pre-planned where all the pattern pieces were going to go because I don't have that much fabric. And looky here, it worked. I'm really happy. So now it's time to start cutting them out. Oh, there it goes. Now that all the pieces have been cut out, it's time to put them all together. I interface the front sections because they'll have a facing of the same fabric. And I forgot that you cannot sew on velvet. That was something to remember because I had bought fusible interfacing and I couldn't even use it. 
so I tried to sew it on and wowie, I was not expecting velvet to be so slippery, so wiggly. Uh, that, that was torture. That was torture. I'll see how it sews on top of itself, but with this interfacing, that stunk. But so far, what everyone says about velvet, that it's horrible to work with, it's true. So now I'm going to try and put these together. everyone to day two of working on the coat day three because I cut it out one oh yeah and another video I said cutting out doesn't count a one day make and we don't count the day I cut out the fabric because I don't count cutting out fabric as a starting point because it takes so long Anyways, the main body of the coat is all together and I'm very, very proud of it. I think it looks really cute. I added the belt loops. That's about all the change that I did that was on camera. I have pockets, which most of the time I can't even find where they are. They're like way back here. It's crazy. But main body is done. Off camera, I also put the lining together. It's all done. So the next part that I have to do is sew on these collar pieces onto the lining and this part. And then I have to sew the sleeves together because this is more of a vintagey kind of pattern for a coat. So they have like an undersleeve and an oversleeve. So I have to put those together. And then after that, I attach the sleeves to each one respectively. And then I will attach the coats together. Now I am doing something a little different with hemming the bottom of this coat. I'm going to add horsehair braid to the bottom of the coat so it can have more of a flounce, is that the word? Because I noticed there are two different versions of her coat. <laughs> one is more flouncy and one is just like cupcake. And I kind of want to do the flouncy one more. So I'm going to add horsehair braid to the inside of the coat. So hopefully that will work. After that, I have to add fur. I totally forgot about the fur. Maybe before I do the fur, I'll pattern out the shoe covers because fur is something new to me and I'm a little scared. Sewing with the velvet has not been that bad actually. I got a little cheat from my machine. I don't know if it's a cheat, but I have a low stitch length and low tension and it has helped a lot. So yes, yes. So on to sewing on these collar pieces and sewing the sleeves together.
I finished putting the sleeves on both the lining and the facing fabric. So now it's time to join these giant pieces together and just sew around the perimeter. Yeah, I think that's what the, I almost said ingredients. I think that's what the instructions told me to do. So that's what I'm going to do. The instructions are really confusing at this part. So <laughs> just making it up as I go. And after I connect them, I'm going to add the horse hair on the bottom of this one. So let's get to doing that. I feel like a super spy in this. I'm going undercover. <laughs> I kind of like it. The lining is now attached on the inside. I do have to go and do some hand sewing, as in attach the sleeve lining to the inside and tack down the collar so it doesn't move. I think the facing also I have to tack down by hand. I think what I'm going to do now is do all the hand sewing I need to do and then I will come back to you when I'm putting the horse hair in the bottom and then we'll see from there <laughs> who's ready to add some horse hair to a coat so let me just move the lining out the way just because for horse hair braid, you have to sew it to the good side first, and then you flip it inside. Now to get my horse hair braid, and we shall pin it to this side. The main bait, the what? I just came in here, started talking. I don't even have any words. The main base coat, the base coat, the coat. The coat is done now, um, sort of. It's done being sewn together. The sad part is I gotta start sewing the fur on. I have never sewn fur, so I'm going to make a rookie mistake and just sew it regular. And we'll learn from there. I don't feel like looking up videos on how to do it, so I'm just gonna make mistakes. I bought this for a while ago. Um, it's very pretty. I like the pattern on it. It really, I think it screams Whoville. It really screams we are here. If you get that reference, thank you. But yes, this is going to go on the collar, on the bottom of the coat, on the wrist cuffs, and hopefully if I can get a hat in time, it will go on the hat. And if I ever get to the boot covers, it will go on the boot. Hmm. I don't even feel like doing the boot covers anyways. It's not even like my boots are bad. Like, look at these. These are cute, right? I'll figure it out as I go. So I have the coat on right now, and here's the collar part. 
and I have no idea how to make it like hers. I want to just like do what I did to the bottom and sew it around here and then flip it over to the inside and then stitch it down in there because hers doesn't really have a shape and so I'm just like why don't I just do that okay maybe I just solved my problem by talking <laughs> As you can see, the collar is done. You're probably wondering when that happened. That happened this morning when I didn't feel like filming. But looky here, it is finished and I am one step closer to finishing this coat. Uh, I am very happy and I am so sorry that I did not film. <laughs> Yay! Next order of business is to finish the coat because we're almost there because I finished the collar off camera so <laughs> next step is to add more fur I checked the reference photo and it seems she has fur going all the way down to the end I didn't notice that so I only have a little bit of fur left about this much left I'm going to cut it in thirds. Two thirds for both sides and one third for the hat because I totally forgot about the hat and I really want to make the hat and I really want this fur on the hat. And then another thing I gotta make is the belt. The belt. My lovely mother made me a clasp for the belt. You know, a giant clasp because cartoon and Santa has a giant buckle. So it's, oh, you can't see. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh. So I have to paint that. That will probably be done off camera. And then the last two things, forget about the shoe covers. They're not gonna happen. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and the last two things I have to make are pom-poms for the hat and for her button. Cause I decided I'm going to let the coat close with hook and eye because I don't want to have to deal with buttonholes in velvet. And there's no extra interfacing, which I should have done, but like I didn't. So hook and eye closure and a button kind of pom-pom over it. So let's do this. Here's where I started cutting out the hat. I just cut out a triangle-ish shape. I didn't really go off of anything and cut out two pieces of that. And man, when I say <laughs> I looked like an elf for real, it's so true. I didn't have enough fabric to cut it out to be roomy on the top, so there's that. And then I started adding the fur and then making the pom-poms. For the fur, I just did what I did with the collar and the front pieces. I sewed it on like bias tape. And for the pom-poms, I tried my best. I had styrofoam balls with, that were the perfect size. And I just hot glued the rest of my fur on top. And you know what? It turned out well. And then I sewed it to the coat. And then the only thing I had left to do was sew the belt and then 
it's time for the reveal. 